Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you, aka Rhonda without an H. I am so happy to be here with you today. Oh my goodness, did you wonder if I was gone for good? <laughs> I kind of wondered for a little while there, but it is just really wonderful to be here with you. And I have, uh, I have something to show you. I have put to bed, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if I could talk, I would say I have put together some more boxes, priority mailboxes to go out to share some more of my goodies with you. Um, and I just wanted to update you on my cancer journey, what's been going on there. So, um, Let's get started. Okay, so, um, cancer. Well, it's just a not very nice word. <laughs> no. What I am doing is, I did a video, and some of you may have seen it. I, I deleted it because the echo was just horrid, and... Hubby did figure out why I had the echo, so he fixed that. So now, and I had already closed up my priority mail boxes ugh, after I did the video, right? I had one to show you, and then ugh, closed them all up. Obviously, this one will be taped nicely. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, share with you what is in this video. Um, I mean, in this box. And this is a sample of what I've got. I have a total of 12 this time, uh, priority mailboxes. This is a different shape, but it's still medium flat rate box. So the shipping will be included in the in the cost. And I will just pull things out. And we'll just look and see what we've got. Um, and I'm going to change the view here. So it's going to go dark for just a second. Don't worry about that. I'll come back. And we will show you the goodies. I'll just pull them out. So each one will receive some type of doilies or or um uh just you know handwork or um tea towels uh just you know different different things that way so everybody will definitely receive some fun things they'll all be different obviously um little bit of fabric it'll be different for each one um, here in this one we have a bit of lace crocheted lace looks like part of a bed skirt which would be super fun to work with and we've got some this feels like this might be Osnaberg fabric. Kind of like an oatmeal type. And, 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 and. Oh, okay, so. And we've also got a, like, feed sack type uh, fabric. This is a feed sack, looks like. No, they won't all be that. They're, and some will be... Uh, well, they're all used and grungied up. Most of them will have stains and, and writing, printing of a feed sack type thing on them. This one, it appears, does not. But it's cool. It's got the old... The stitching and the feed sack, which is... This fabric is fabulous, actually. That's really nice. Okay, anyway. So everybody will get one of those. 
and then everybody will also get a bunch of uh, selvage, fabric selvages. I have collected these for quite some time. And some of these pieces are, are little short and some are longer. But these are super fun to use in your journals, guys. Or on other, you know, it's embellishments for bags and different, just different fun things. So that'll all be different, you know, obviously. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Next. Everybody will receive a bag of lace. Looks like that one's been opened up, but let's try to scrunch them down. Good size, good amount. Everybody will receive some tickets. I believe there, well, I don't remember how many there are. But this is two, four, six, eight, and a good amount. We'll just say that. And I'm trying to do this quickly. My other video that the echo was like, it was horrible and I took it down and I do apologize. Uh, I just couldn't stand it. But it was like 45 minutes going through everything and talking with you. But I just, I'm just trying to get this up. More tickets. And when I put these together, this was way before Easter. Uh, I'd been working on it for quite some time. And these are little tags too with a little string. So there's several things of those and 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 now this fabric is kind of a I don't know if it's fabric fabric per se or if it's because you can rip it and and fabric fabric you shouldn't be able to rip too easily but it's kind of like under, that they put underneath um, couches and chairs and things like that. But look at that beautiful design in there. Isn't that pretty? So you can make all kinds of things. You know, paper sheets, fabric sheets. Uh, um, <laughs> embellishments. This can go underneath. You can stitch it. You can make ruffles out of it. Anything. But each one gets about a yard of that. And I am sharing, you guys, I am sharing my um, little golden books. I have some wonderful little golden books. Each one will get two. They're all, everything is, is well put together. They're not, they don't have ripped pages or anything like that. So, and I kept four. <laughs> I kept four for myself, and I'm sharing two each with you guys. So I'll still have some to work with, and then have those to share. Okay, as we continue. All right. This glassine bag contains little scraps that I have altered. I watched a video of Louisa Heinzel uh, several months ago where she put in a box all her scraps and then she sprayed all kinds of different paints and coffees and different things on them and dried them out and then they all turned into these fun little different scraps, fabric and colors. Well, that's kind of what I've done here. A few little things have been added like that's not one of those, but it's, you know, it's just been stuffed in amongst. It's just kind of a fun, but everybody will receive a bunch of those that I have altered. Everyone will also receive a bag of uh, scraps that I have cut out of magazines, phrases, words, uh, that type of thing. I think there's a few little playing cards, miniature playing cards in there. And you've got some postcardy type uh, paint chips, uh, a postcard in each one, a vintage postcard, and just you know, just just different different things. So no rhyme or reason; they're all different. 
so everyone gets one of those everyone also gets one of these and these have my vintage papers uh, and a couple of antique actually but I love I love 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 these these are small from small books a little bit a little bit of sticker type of thing going on here um, an embellishment I'll just move those here but look at these pages these are wonderful this is about a four by these are the antique ones oh, I wish I had more than I could have shared more with you but I'm sharing what I have and these will be absolutely fabulous in whatever application you know you want to use them they're just really wonderful foreign book page type and then you've also got images you know gardening images things from magazines and just other uh, digitals that I've had that I've cut out that I've never used that I've just kind of adding so I'm giving you a lot of a lot of embellishment type things to use and then with your tags and that type of thing your laces it's anyway it's quite a lot of good stuff and everyone will also receive one of these either a partial or a complete piano roll um what is that on there huh well i don't know it looks like plastic some little bit of plastic at first I looked at that and I thought oh, that looks like a worm I can't send somebody a worm <laughs> but these are wonderful you guys this paper is fabulous love 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 to work with it and so I am sharing like I said you'll either receive a partial roll or a complete roll they're like they're all different so it, I don't know which yours will be this one is to each his own to each his own um so yeah everybody gets one of those and everybody also gets one of these with five vintage trims these are from the, I would say, from the 50s and 60s, 1950s, 1960s. So they're all different, but super fun. So everybody gets those. Everybody also gets an encyclopedia. One of my small ones. I love these. This is a perfect size for journal making. Come on, come on bend <laughs> it's like no I don't want to bend I've been in this box forever so this is about a four by six size and I've made fall and, and uh, Christmas journals from these so I still have a few left but I definitely wanted to share those with you guys okay we wisdom so everybody gets one of these, either We Wisdom or Jack, uh, what's the other one? Jack in the Box? Uh, anyway, a children's magazine. And these are definitely wonderful to work with. This is 1958, April. So lots of fun to work with there. Now we're moving on to the paper and this is cool stuff so here we have an old dictionary that you're going to receive 45 plus pages of this dictionary and look how look at the aging look at that isn't that wonderful so you'll be able to do all kinds of things with this and then I have this huge, 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 huge amount 
of <laughs> copy paper that I am sharing with you guys. I purchased several years ago from a college bookstore um, papers that were 11 inches wide and let's see, eight and a half and eight and a half, 17 inches long. So it's like two sheets of 11 by eight and a half inch papers. So I spent the time cutting them all apart so that it's a regular size so that I could share them with you. This one has 65 plus pages. This is salmon. And this is, an, this is a nice weight copy paper. I don't have the, the reams on there, so I can't give you exactly. But it's, it's a nice weight. It's not, a, it's not cheap. So everybody gets one of those. Everybody gets of this cream, 55 pages plus, of this kind of a buff color. You get 65 plates. Blah, 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 pages, <laughs> pages, <laughs> plus, you get 75, you get the most of the lavender, and of course, I love lavender and pink, and this one, you get 65 pages, so that is a lot of copy paper to work with, that is a lot of dictionary paper to work with, so let me just, I'm going to kind of set this back in here and then whew, and then we'll bring out the rest of what you're going to receive let me kind of move stuff around just a little bit okay so it looks like that got a little bend it will be fine so these are deli sheets that I purchased I don't know, some time ago. There's quite a few of them, so everyone will get a bunch of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish. Super fun. So everyone will get those. And everyone will get 20 of my ledger sheets, my hoardy ledger sheets. These are fabulous, you guys. My husband took the time and had to cut open the book, saw it open because the, the key was gone. But I wanted these pages intact. And so it's folded at 11 inches. So that still gives you a whole page. Plus you could have a pocket. You know, you could do this and this could be a pocket or it could be a flip over, whatever you want that way. But this paper is wonderful. It's nice, it's sturdy, and it's, of course, it's vintage. Um, these are in the, I believe, in the 1950s, if I'm not mistaken. So, anyway, everyone gets 20 of these guys which is ah come on get in there get in there come on <laughs> I know you can I know you can and of course I used a bunch of my brown paper to cover things so then you've also got the covers you know of these as well so let's go ahead and slip that back in so you'll get that these are fabulous. These are in the 1900s, early 1900s, I believe. Like this one is 1916. State of Michigan, mortgage. They measure 17 and a half inches lengthwise, lengthwise. And I believe this is about nine inches. No, this is 11 and a half inches wide to the half. But then we open it up. 
So you are getting this fabulous, heavy, this is like a cardstock. This is wonderful, good ledger paper. Okay. And I have folded it so that, it, you know, it can ship okay, but on reasonable lines too. So everyone will get two of these fold out huge double pages which I think is amazing I love them and I use them a lot so this last little bundle has just some odds and ends of ledger papers that I have had that I am sharing with you little bundle of those you will get one of these these are not a vintage uh, right here it's just a large ledger book that I've taken and everybody gets a few pages of those folded it for you know convenience in in shipping and whatnot everyone will get several of these and this this is, says 1940 so, and the records, for the most part, they are all written on. Some may not be, but I think most of them have writing, which, you know, that's kind of what we like, right? Gives it more, uh, ah, <laughs> everything's falling down now. <laughs> more of the vintage vibe that we kind of like to go for. Okay, so, and then this last little bundle is just another ledger that, uh, this is 1949, and you'll get uh, maybe six, seven of those, everybody. So, yeah. So that, my dears, is what we are um, sharing at this time. I will perhaps be able to do another one down the road but this is this is what I am able to do at this time let me kind of oh, sorry <laughs> now if I can find my stuff here uh, let me change the screen it's gonna go dark then I'm gonna oh there I am <laughs> So those are the boxes. Again, I, I do apologize for that first video. I felt so bad. I posted it and then it's like, oh honey, I can't, I can't keep that up there. It's horrible. I can't have my subscribers listening to that. And he's like, let me work on it. And, and he did, and he was able to fix it. But okay, so cancer. Um, for those of you that are perhaps not aware, I'm in my second year of cancer treatments. Um, I have inflammatory metastatic breast cancer. Metastatic meaning that it's gone from the breast to other parts of the body, to my lymph node, and also to bones in my spine. Um, the inflammatory is not good. <laughs> it's, it's, uh supposedly a very rapid growing cancer and difficult to cure um, and in fact I have been told that mine is not curable it's just a matter of you know trying to trying to get as much time as I possibly can um, under the circumstances but they won't do surgery on me breast surgery um, my doctor told me, my surgeon, he said there's no point to do that because it won't give you another day of life and it will be very painful and, you know, difficult. And so there's no, there's just no point to even try. And, and so that's fine. I've had chemo twice, um, just gone through the second round of chemo. Uh, first time went great. Um, and in fact, the bone was growing back in the back, which he said was, you know, 
just doesn't happen. And I'm like, so like a miracle? <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah, I don't, anyway, you know, he's a doctor, right? But, um, and I've had radiation and that did clear up the cancer in the lymph node and helped reduce some of the spots in the spine. But the, this go round on the chemo treatment, what I didn't realize is that <laughs> the treatment itself, the side effects, I thought I was just horribly sick with a bad flu or that maybe I had picked up somewhere COVID again and was suffering from that. But I've tested, I, I didn't have COVID and not having, I mean, I, I had all kinds of over-the-counter you know, medicines that we do when we get a bad cold and nothing helped. And it, anyway, i come to find out that it's the side effects from the chemo, this go around that have had quite frankly laid me very low for the last um, six weeks or so. I've not been able to do much of anything except manage to maybe get showered and and then maybe get dressed or maybe just put pajamas back on and, and go back to bed. Uh, so I've been very familiar with the laying down kind of thing and I really don't like it. <laughs> it's really not me. It's not the way I want to. That's just not the way I want to live my life. And uh, so we have decided just, you know, the doctor's good with this. Let's just take time off, you know, um, take some time away. We'll, we'll do another PET scan in a, a couple of months and see where we're at. And, you know, so that's where we're at. I have missed you so much and I have prayed for you guys and, and I have appreciated your prayers for me and your well wishes because I know some of you aren't religious and some of you are. And I respect all of you, truly, whatever it is that you believe or don't believe. I respect that. Um, and I have had days where I just didn't think I could do it. It's just like, you know, Lord, I can't. Like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. And yet here I am. And I'm happy to be here with you. And I love you. And, you know, I just want to live my life whatever time I have. And hopefully it's a good amount. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not planning my funeral service or anything like that. But, uh, but I don't know. And I just want to be, feel good. I want to be able to, if I want to bake cookies, I want to bake cookies. If I want to take dinner to somebody. I want to take dinner to somebody. If I want to do a video and share with you guys something exciting that I'm working on, that's what I want to do. I want to visit with you. And I want to, you know, go visiting family and, and see more of our beautiful country and just, you know, travel and do some things that way. So that's the plan. Um, and in fact, I'm not sure how many videos I might be able to get done before I leave, but I leave hubby and I in one week we're going to drive to Utah starting going in in St. George and then up north um, we have a granddaughter who's graduating from BYU uh, college and we're going to that and then the next day she is getting married and so we are going to be to that wedding and celebrate with her and her sweet her sweet um, husband to be. So we'll be doing some traveling there. So I'm not sure, but if you don't see me now, it'll be a good thing. It's, it's because I'm traveling and I'm feeling good enough to be able to travel and visit with family and do some things, but I'm going to try to do a, at least one or two videos so that I can post something while, while I'm on my trip. Okay. I think I've belabored the fact long enough so if you're interested in one of my priority boxes, just go, you know, check out the links, go to my Etsy shop. They are listed there. 
and uh, I'll try to get those out in the mail before I leave also. Just know I love you, and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of the day, evening, night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. Know I love you. Know you're never alone. All right, till next time. Bye-bye, guys.